let's start with your most recent controversy that comes from your new flick, Free My Homies. Obviously, the main thing on the public's mind is how can a white director direct a story about black people and an all-black cast? Well, first of all, as you know, Bob, I wrote it. And as I was writing this, I felt myself get darker. Not mentally, physically. I felt myself get darker, my pigmentation. And I thought, it's up to me. It's up to me to help the black community. It's up to me to spread the diversity of these people across the world so everyone can understand. So if anything, you should be thanking me. They should be thanking me for giving them a pedestal to speak upon. Don't you think it is out of place for a white man to direct a story about the black struggle and black people, especially since you have no experience being black? Sorry. First off, I have experience being black. All right. I like, sorry, I love deep fried chicken and I listen to black music all the time. Macklemore, Mac Miller, Eminem. And most importantly, my Badman Singh, Bob Marley. May he rest in peace. Buffalo Soldier. Wolf America. And I love grape drink. And to further that notion, Bob, in college, I took a African studies course. And did you know that we all came from Africa? So we are all a little black, which means we all share the struggles of everyone. Oppression, police brutality, people crossing the street when we're on the same sidewalk as them. I feel it. I fucking feel it. Okay. Free My Homies is about young black men committing stereotypical crimes and their struggle fighting the legal system. Your characters are depicted as uneducated, yep. menacing, mm -hmm and barbaric. Correct. And when actually asked of your characters why they should be free, they simply say because they are black. Mm -hmm. What is it from your personal life that inspired you to write such a outdated and quite frankly stupid story? Well, this one's actually close to my heart, so I'm kind of glad you asked. Every Sunday, my grandfather would come over to the house after church, and it would, it would be myself, my father and him, and we'd be sitting there watching cops for four to five hours, six hours, sometimes a day. It was glorious. And that's what really got me as a young entertainer so involved and, and just wrapped in to what the black male psyche is like. Some, some women, but mainly just black males for the most part. And actually, funny enough, this brings me back to a story. Growing up in my area, we didn't have many, many darkies. Actually, we, we didn't have any black people in my community at all, my neighborhood, um, except for one. And his name was Frank. And every Thursday, Frank would come by and pick up our garbage. And I would wave to Frank, and Frank would wave back. And you know why, Bob? Because Frank was a homie. Don't you think Frank was just being polite? I don't know. Maybe. Don't think so. Oh, sure. I don't know. Yeah. I guess. And the title. Free My Homies. Do you actually have any homies? Yeah. I mean, don't, don't you? No. Oh. Can't you just go, like, you know, buy some? Pretty cheap. No. Let's, uh, let's talk about the title. Yes! Yes, titles. Ah, uh, so that's, that's actually part of my writing style, is I write in, in titles. Sometimes scenes, but mainly a title will come to mind. And that's what got me to coin the phrase, title teasers. Title teasers? Yes, yes. So think about this. Whenever you go to a movie, what's the first thing you see? It's a title. 
right? And if the title isn't good, then you're not going to get drawn into the movie, right? So it, it's really easy to come up with them too. Like I, all the time, I'm a genius when it comes to this stuff. So for example, here's one for you, ready? Climate change, title teaser. If everyone just went vegan, title teaser. Amber Heard heard you talking shit, title teaser. Don't misgender me, title teaser. Trans rights ain't rights, title teaser. We're fat! Feminazis and the blood clots. I present to you a title teaser. Louis C.K. Sex Tape, Volume 3, Public Masturbation. Title teaser. No means yes. Until it doesn't. Boom! Title teaser. No war crimes were committed in the making of this invasion. Title? Meet teaser. White privilege? Never heard of it. Title teaser. Okay, I think we get the point. <clears throat> good, good. But aren't you tease just a little bit don't you want to go see one of my movies now and it's just it's a stop stop everything i just i thought of an idea newest one right here you ready for this ready three dogs one cup oh fuck that's a title teaser right there so that what does that even mean Exactly. Okay, um, so is there any other projects that you're working on? Mm, yes, actually. I'm glad you brought this up. Um, I'm working on an indigenous film, and it's called They Did It To Themselves. Title teaser. Away, <laughs>